Alexander Chipornoy, also known as Kush T, is here. I am a code developer of the Ergo protocol since 2016. And now uh, on the uh, fifth Ergo anniversary, uh, I would like to share some thoughts of mine on the completeness of the Ergo protocol from code developer point of view. And uh, this talk is about, well, again, reflections of mine on uh, priorities in protocol research and development, as well as uh, the core protocol development roadmap uh, based on those priorities I do have in mind and would like to share. All right, in the first place, uh, what do we want uh, from a cryptocurrency? Uh, so uh, we want for security. Uh, means resilience to known attack vectors and uh, even more uh, in uh, some sense uh, security against unknown attacks if adversarial limits are known. Uh, then uh, we want for decentralization. Uh, there are uh, some talks explaining what uh, could it mean uh, in details. So I'm going to skip details now. And uh, we also do one for performance, obviously. So we want uh, uh, from a cryptocurrency to uh, handle uh, load and uh, yeah, uh, be uh, maybe uh, even flexible. So to accept uh, more and more load with time. Uh, but then uh, there is a result, uh, or maybe, well, widely uh, believed uh, to net in the folklore, uh, known as a blockchain trilemma, which basically uh, says that uh, if uh, we have uh, scalability, security, and decentralization, uh, you have to choose only two out of three. All right, uh, then uh, what can we do about that, uh, about performance? Uh, right, so, uh, well, uh, performance is measured in uh, TPS, usually around, TPS means transactions per second, and uh, this is quite uh, misleading metric, actually. As uh, well, transactions are not equal, they're different, uh, well, they're dependent on uh, uh, accounting model, you take so accounts, uh, well, some hybrid model. Uh, simple payments uh, can be equalized with uh, complex contract invocations and so on and so on. Uh, and also, well, uh, we cannot use a single metric because uh, many corporate uh, centralized or pseudo decentralized chains, uh, such as uh, Binance uh, Smart Chain, do have uh, pretty high TPS. But then it's uh, nearly impossible to check the chains uh, since Genesis, as they're simply uh, too heavy. And uh, then, uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, bringing uh, new issues yeah, in regards with uh, verifiability of uh, what's there. Uh, and uh, what's uh, uh, an approach in Ergo, an ergonomic approach? In regards with the uh, trilemma and uh, performance and uh, how to improve it. So in the first place, uh, well, the approach is about uh, to be on the uh, right side of the trilemma, which is obviously about uh, to have uh, security and decentralization as top priorities. Uh, then uh, for uh, performance, and in particular uh, for scalability, uh, well, uh, first, uh, the approach is about making the protocol secure in the presence of uh, everything in a uh, blockchain uh, possibly being pruned. And then uh, miners uh, can increase TPS uh, gradually uh, without uh, 
any uh, concerns or oh, well with uh, negligible concerns let's say uh, as uh, well if uh, everything is pruned uh, then the protocol is along for that all right and uh, well there go uh, protocol was uh, designed in that way uh, since uh, day one basically so uh, it's possible to securely up run uh, the blockchain uh, well uh, both uh, full blocks uh, via uh, snapsync uh, which is uh, already uh, supported in the reference uh, client uh, since the recent 5 or 12 version and supported uh, by the protocol since day one uh, and uh, well uh, with this uh, printing technique uh, you can avoid downloading and storing uh, full blocks uh, before the hit exoset snapshot uh, high chosen and then uh, it's possible to even uh, prune uh, block hitters uh, via uh, nipopos uh, so you can avoid downloading and storing uh, the headers even. And there was a talk about uh, that uh, talk on so-called uh, log space mining done by uh, Dionysus Indros uh, one year ago that anniversary. All right, so I'm going to skip details. Uh, but uh, even more uh, in Ergo, uh, it's possible to avoid storing QTX or set even. So there is support for stateless clients if you are not uh, mining uh, node. So uh, it's supported uh, in the protocol and uh, the reference uh, client signs the very early test nets. Uh, there are uh, good presentations on that uh, from uh, Real World Crypto 2016 even. Uh, there is also some presentation uh, by Professor Leo Raisin. All right, uh, but then uh, there is also, uh, well, uh, economic tool, uh, which is actually uh, helping with uh, pruning. Uh, it's called Storage Rant also known as uh, Demorash. And uh, well, uh, this uh, is uh, about some miners uh, charging uh, some uh, well, storage rent for uh, bytes uh, being stored in the UTX or set. And uh, this rent is charged every uh, four years. So then every four years all the UTX is uh, renewed. Uh, then, uh, even if uh, every node in the network uh, has uh, four years of uh, history uh, maximum, it is still uh, okay for wallets and applications. So it's still possible to find uh, UTXOs uh, which are yours, even uh, if uh, every node is uh, pruning uh, everything uh, before uh, last four years uh, all right uh, so uh, then uh, with uh, time notes uh, uh, can slowly adopt such uh, pruning even uh, by default if uh, no uh, extra indexes uh, are on right so if uh, uh, they are on uh, then uh, it's assumed that uh, this node is uh, basically willing to have uh, explorer-like capabilities so uh, uh, well uh, being able to analyze uh, historical data not just uh, having uh, currently unspent heat access uh, then in the presence of explorer nodes at least one publicly available uh, the security uh, is still uh, the same basically and even if there are no explorer nodes uh, then yeah uh, well, at least uh, uh, four years 
uh, of uh, history can be objectively uh, verified and uh, for uh, the time before uh, last four years uh, there is uh, well what uh, Vitalik is calling uh, big subjectivity but uh, here it's actually uh, pretty strong right so there are commitments in the uh, block here still even if uh, transaction data is not available so you can check you can trust that uh, there is actually uh, the blockchain uh, with uh, most of work uh, so as uh, well the, the, there is no uh, any chain with uh, more work uh, absorbed being shown uh, then yeah you, you, you can actually uh, trust this chain right uh, and uh, yeah it's uh, security wise uh, pretty pretty much the same uh, right then uh, yeah let's talk about uh, completeness of the protocol as we have it uh, means uh, do we need to add uh, uh, more features actually in regards with uh, scalability uh, performance in the first place uh, and uh, yeah in the first place uh, let me know uh, that security wise and decentralization wise the protocol is uh, quite perfect now so Yeah, all the uh, improvements uh, which can be uh, proposed uh, well, uh, not improving security and decentralization in a probable way, let's say. Right, and uh, well, uh, in Ergo, uh, we have now your uh, assumptions approach to uh, study the protocol uh, from a security point of view, from assumptions uh, it is relying on in the first place. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, uh, the classic uh, proof of work uh, as uh, done in Ergo is uh, uh, actually quite uh, perfect at the moment still. All right, uh, then uh, uh, there is a set of features uh, to handle increasing a uh, lot in the long term we are brewing, right? And the protocol uh, is supporting them since day one and uh, clients are getting uh, supports for different uh, features with time. Uh, the clients are, well, pruning uh, slowly uh, some parts of the blockchains uh, so since uh, late 2021 uh, clients are pruning uh, by default uh, state uh, UTX uh, uh, set also known as blockchain state uh, transformation uh, proofs uh, stateless uh, clients are served with right and uh, uh, well, uh, with, with time, uh, more pruning will be done. Uh, and then uh, miners can increase uh, TPS limits organically uh, as uh, well, more performant uh, clients appear. And uh, no forks needed uh, for going towards that direction, just uh, client improvements. Uh, then uh, the uh, development roadmap would be uh, like following so polishing uh, well pruning uh, parts of the blockchain on uh, layer one uh, make it flexible so it's uh, up uh, to a node uh, which parts of the blockchain to store uh, well uh, there are uh, certain uh, complexities involved in regards with uh, peer to peer layer, uh, but uh, they're solvable. Uh, then, uh, yeah, uh, what's uh, actually uh, on the table 
is uh, further optimizations in uh, transactions validation, uh, mempool, optimizing internal data structures, uh, parallel processing of transactions, and so on, so on. So uh, this work is uh, going on all the time uh, since uh, 2020. Uh, then uh, layer uh, one is getting improvements, but still a lot of improvements uh, possible. Uh, one of the uh, low hanging fruits is uh, adopting uh, something like uh, compact uh, blocks uh, BAP in uh, Bitcoin protocol, but uh, there are uh, some improvements proposed after that uh, BAP so they can be adopted. And uh, similarly, uh, one or two uh, order of magnitudes uh, improvements are possible here. All right, uh, then, uh, yeah, uh, we, we can think about uh, adding uh, new instructions to Ergo3 to support layer two side chains and so on. Uh, well, this is uh, doable uh, via soft forks only. Uh, we can uh, consider uh, some uh, sub block uh, protocols such as uh, Flux or Bitcoin and G, uh, well, uh, that could be the next step, but uh, yeah, it's still uh, not uh, changing uh, the proof of work consensus. And uh, yeah, it's still a uh, question how to do that and why. Maybe uh, some uh, layer two uh, improvements uh, can do the same job actually. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, concluding uh, at the time, uh, the protocol is uh, pretty complete and, uh, well, all the uh, improvements uh, would be uh, not so breaking, uh, so uh, not painful uh, to network participants. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of improvements are possible. Uh, so, well, uh, performance uh, wise, uh, a lot of achievements ahead. Uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs>